So, 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 so why don't you, why, why are you unsure, man, just to get things? You think it's a government contract, right? But, uh, 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 yeah, a contract. You, you, you think we should just do things without papers, right? But, 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 but understand, do, do you have your ownership for your car? Did you drive? Do you have your ownership for your car? But, 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 I'm asking, marriage, is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a good thing, right? We, 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 what you got? The book of Hebrew, chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. So, marriage is honorable, sir. You, you guys are on point. Marriage is a very good thing. Marriage is going to change our community. Come on. Marriage is honorable in all. So, marriage is good for the black community. But, I'm going to have to tell, I'm gonna have to tell you something. Don't miss any of the A lot of people don't like us. They talk to us, they talk to us, they talk to us, they teach them God's words. I'm, I'm going to tell you, the marriage, the specific marriage, is not good. Like gay marriage, that's not good. Man and man is not good to go into the Bible. When two women, when two women choose to marry each other, is that good? No. No, I'm gonna give you something else that you probably didn't know. You know? Yeah. Let me say that three. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven, verse three. Yeah. Find me, me, me. Find them. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. Thy daughters thou shalt not do. So interracial marriage is a sin according to the Bible. Interracial marriage is a sin according to the Bible. So you black men that want to the white women, you're sinning against God. And you black men that can't put the black woman in no place, and so you choose to marry outside your race, you're against the scriptures. God says, put the black woman in her place. Teach her God's commandments. That's what God says. So marriage is good for the black community, but interracial marriage is not good. Interracial marriage is not good for our community. Okay, my brother, be that again. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughters thou shalt not give unto his son. So, so, according to our Bible, interracial marriage is a sin according to our Bible. Officer, I got two, hey, two sisters. sisters. Interracial marriage. What's your thoughts about that? Interracial marriages? What's your belief on interracial marriages? Young sisters. I'm asking. Love is love. Love is love? Who are you, sis? Interracial marriage. We see a black man married to a white woman. What do you, what's your thoughts? You don't know? You don't think a black man should be with a black woman? So it's love, love. See, my, my sister said the heart works, works well, the heart works, but again, that's contrary to the scriptures. Bring it out. That's against God. That's something we've been taught here. Like, for example, man marrying another man. Is that that's okay? You said if a white woman marries a black man, you have to specify for you. No, no, but what I'm saying is, um, they're, they're both wrong. They're both wrong. Same sex marriages is wrong, and the way to marriages is wrong according to the Bible. That's my point. Come on. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is the sinful above all. So we can't go based on our hearts. We can't go based on our emotions. We have to, we have to go based on logic. Okay, even though we have to go, we have to go based on. In the Bible, you're also not supposed to get divorced. So if you marry someone for logic, you get divorced. Okay, when I say logic, I mean based on the scriptures. And according to the Bible, 
only have to divorce if you have a hidden wife. If you have a if you have a white wife, I have to divorce. That's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. Because guess what? Well, God shows the people. Christ was a black man. We make him the children of Israel. We are God chosen people. We're not Jamaican, we're not Jan Jandarian, we are the Jews who are with Pizza. We are God chosen people. Now, let me ask you a question now. Oh, 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 oh what's happening there? Oh, oh, oh what's, it, what's happening? What's your story in this image? My brother? Slavery. Oh, oh, what about you, sis? You know what this is? Slavery. Were your forefathers and forefathers enslaved? Were your ancestors enslaved? You don't know? No, I didn't. Okay, so these were your ancestors enslaved. Yes, it's a major plan. Other black kids in Jamaica. Bring it out. They shift. Bring it out. So your ancestors were enslaved. I understand for you that all um, say slavery did not happen. My business, their business, is their business. You are dishonoring your ancestors. Bring it up. You're dishonoring the pain, the suffering your ancestors had to go through. And I'm a, a lot of our grandmoms, our great great grandmothers were raped in slavery. But when we say, oh, slavery was so long ago, we are dishonoring that pain that they went through. But God called us to Africa before God's commandments. Right now we're still breaking God's commandments. Calabana is breaking God's commandments. Winding up on random men is breaking God's commandments. Now, now, I, I'm, not, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm not saying you, and all of our sisters that's in the parade, y'all winding up on random men. Mary sisters, they're winding up on random men. That's breaking God's commandments. And all men, you got a lot of marriage couples Baby couples that come to the carnival and say, okay, you do your own thing, and I'm gonna do my own thing. And then we come back and we'll talk about it. That's how all the going to the Bible. And if you're okay with your wife, you don't love her. You hate your that, You hate that woman. You hate that woman. So my brother, we have to start keeping God's commandments. But, but I say, real are the child of Israel, Christ is the black man. The, the reason this happened because we broke God's commandments. What's the commandments you think you're breaking? No, it's not, it's not here. Because like, we, we, we are here to teach, we are here to help you keep God's commandments. The, the, what's the commandments you're struggling to keep? Marriage. What happened? Marriage? Oh, are you married? You was married, okay, okay. Um, give me Leviticus 21 and 5. Leviticus 21 and 5. I'm, I'm going to give you another, um, I'm going to give you something that you still do real, but you didn't know. Leviticus 21 and 5. The book of Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So, according to the Bible, it's a sin to shave off your head. You can have hair cuts, but you can't shave off completely. A lot of people don't know that, but that's what the Bible says. Okay, the Christian church is not teaching the Bible. How are you doing this? We teach the God's commandments. So say, give me two minutes. I want to talk to you. Okay, you, you, you're okay, right? Okay, give me two minutes. He wants to know what this is about. Okay. What we're doing you, know, you want to know what we're what we about? I'm going to deal with you, okay? Hey, hey my brother. Be, be what you got? Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beards. So, did you know it's a sin for a man to shave off his head? You have a haircut, but you can't ball his head. And what? Neither? Neither shall, neither shall they shave off the corners of their beards. A man must have a beard. You can trim it up and get look nice, but a man must have a beard. The two people that don't have beards are not supposed to have beards. Children and women. But men, you're supposed to have beards. And what the Bible says, we, we, we didn't know that. Now, sis, do you know that we're God's the people? For example, who, who's this? Say that Jesus, what about you? Who, who's this right here? Say that Jesus? Demon. My brother knows better. He says, what? Who's this? He's a demon. Bring it this, out. This is the devil the Bible speaks of. That's right. God, Christ was never a white man in the Bible. Christ was and is a black man. That's right. That's according to the Bible. But we've been talking lies. Bring it out. 
Why is it a bad man, huh? So why you look at Jesus and you're saying he's a demon? This is a, the, the white emphasis of Christ? Oh, I thought you was pointing Teach here. Teach up! Look, 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 I'm pointing here, I'm oh. pointing here, oh. I'm pointing here. Oh. Oh. They're all images of the devil. Oh. That's right. These are all images of the devil. Oh. Christ, Jesus oh. Christ, this is, a, this is a more accurate depiction. Oh. Think your feet. This is how Christ looked like us. Oh. Bring it out! Bring it out! Christ looked like your father, your oh. grandfather. Revelation! Christ was a black man! Alright, give me Revelation 14. Wake him up! The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Bring it out! His head and his hairs were white like wood! I'm still dealing with you, my brother. I appreciate your time and taking it in the dark, okay? But well, hold on, sis. I'm telling you that Christ is a black man, but hold, hold on, give me two more minutes. Don't huh? prove it. And as white as snow, and his eyes were as the flame of fire. So is that Christ had woolly hair? Do you know what woolly hair is? Bull is what we call nappy, kinky, tough. The hell we have. That's woolly hair. Take a look at that. That's woolly hair. He has woolly hair. If he, if he goes to Alpha, it's an Alpha. Come on. And his feet like on the fine grass. Fine grass. I can tell you a black woman by looking at your feet. Christ's feet was like fire grass. Right now, the, the Olympics is going on. You got your gold medal, the silver medal, you got your bronze. Christ had all oh, feet like bronze, grass. Come on. And his feet like unto fine grass, as if they burned in a furnace. As if they were burned in a furnace. Let me see. Let me show you something. This, this, is, this is the color of bronze. See? This is the color of Christ's feet. This is the more epic picture. You see this? Is? Come close. Yeah. This is how Christ's feet look like. Come on. Yeah. And his feet yeah. like unto fine brass. Like the fine brass. Like fine brass. Come on. As if they burnt in a furnace. As if they were burnt in a furnace. If you burnt anything, you get black. So Christ was a black man. Yes. We are his people. Christ was our relative. Christ, this Christ was our relative. We are the two Jews, Jews. We went to slavery because we broke God's commandments. Hey, right. right now we're still breaking God's commandments. Give me 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. I'm gonna give you an example. A, a lot of our women, we don't know how to dress properly. A lot of our sisters do not know how to dress properly. This is evidence. You can see a lot, you can see a lot of sisters vagina going on how they just in today. Why? Because we don't know we don't know the laws of God. And when we tell our sisters to couple up, they say, F you, go home. But we, we, we say this not because we hate our sisters, because we love our sisters. Because if our sisters don't repent, Christ is going to kill them. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertained unto a man. So a woman that's supposed to love a long term man. What's that talk about? The black woman is not supposed to be our parents. The black woman, the Israelite woman, is not supposed to be our parents. We see a black woman that's been a parent, she's sinning against God. But hold on, hold on, hold on. We know people that go, that went to church for 40, 50 years that are still our parents as a woman. What does that prove? The Christian church is not teaching the laws of God. They're not teaching the laws of God. Come on. And neither shall the man put on a woman's garment. For all that they, for all that do so is abomination unto the Lord. So we hear with laws that we never do. Oh, we supposed to pour our beer? We never do that. Oh, my, my wife, what means for the rough beer? I never do that. Very, very well. But that's the wisdom. Hey, that's the wisdom of this world. Paul and Roy. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today.
nation is men leading by example. Oh, my.